When you're driving the back roads, you probably see nature and beauty. But we see deals. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is a time warp. I'm Marty Gable, and finding treasure is in my blood. You ready for this? Jackpot. They call me Bam Bam. I love hunting down mantiques, forgotten junk, and anything with wheels. Oh, there it is. To us, the back roads are full of bounty. Uh, yeah, you get your 500. <laughs> yes. All right, buddy, you ready for this? We are going to a guy named Mike. This guy actually is a demolition guy. So oh, people okay. with great cottages around here call him up. They're like, hey, we built a brand new one. We're keeping the property. Will you come tear it down and take all of our stuff? Oh, really? So he knocks them all down? Yeah. I'm looking for a big junk pile? Well, no, you're looking for a salvage yard. Let's be optimistic here. I think you might actually like this as much as me. And I hate to say that about a salvage yard. The gates are closed. Are we allowed to be here? I called them. It was guard it was... dogs on guard dogs plural on premises. There's more than one of them. Look at the teeth on the sign of that dog. <laughs> All right, here I'm gonna let you crack that, and I'll stay in the van. Yeah, okay. Try not to smell like jerky. We're coming through. No sign of a dog yet. You can make it, Marty. I believe in you. I would have bet money you were going to keep driving without me. Oh, man, not with the dog. That was a serious sign. Man, look at this. I don't know if I should be scared or excited. Holy smokes, look it. It's the minnow. <laughs> it is, I guarantee you it's been sitting there for longer than three hours. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these trailers. Look at it, and they're full of stuff. Yeah, there's a big oak chair hanging at the back of that one. Look at that trailer's full. That trailer's full. <laughs> okay. All right. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? The trailers that? are full. You're like a dog. There's only one way to handle this, and that's with hand. Do I just start filling the van? This place is massive. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I can't even talk about it. It's, it's huge. Rid it's ridiculously huge. This is incredible. This isn't a scrapyard. This is a full-out salvage yard. Pretty well everything, yeah. How do you get this stuff? What's going on? We tear down cottages. People bring stuff. We pick up garbage. We sort the garbage, pick all the good stuff out. Good man, yeah. good man. We salvage everything we can. How yeah. long have you been here salvaging and sorting and rescuing things? Well, I've been here 11 years. I've been doing the demolition for 25. Wow. Everywhere I see is just goodies and stuff all over the place. I see a canoe. Yep. It seriously goes on as far as I can see. Yep, from that tree line all the way up to that tree line down there. It's uh, 47 acres. 17 acres is zoned for the salvage, so there's 17 oh, acres yeah. of stuff. I'm a furniture guy. I like antiques. I like unusual stuff. There's some antiques down the far end. All the trailers along the road have furniture. I want to go deep okay. and then come back. Well, are you OK with that? Sure. Help all right, ready? When Great. you find what you want, let me know, and I'll, we'll figure it out. Perfect. Let's make our way to some furniture. All right. All right. Have fun. Oh, we will. <laughs> There's got to be something incredible here. There's too much junk not to be treasure. I don't even know where to start. We're going to have to split up. I need your walkie-talkie. And make sure yours is on. We need the walkie-talkies today, for sure. I don't want to have to walk, you know, a 1,000 meters to go find you. And you're like, hey, I got something cool. I'm like, no, thanks. <laughs> There's only one way to really test these. Yeah. Go, run. All right, so this is your casual walkie check in motion. I'm headed to the back. Ten foot. <laughs> he broke off his leash. Oh, look at go! So I walk in this one sideways. Man, if this was 1993 and I needed a car stereo, I wouldn't need it anymore. I see furniture. Ugh. This is what I was hoping to find. Somebody's house in a trailer. It's a nice teak sideboard. It's not what I expect to find here, that's for sure. People use these for TV stands, these in the dining rooms. This one's signed. Tough to make out. It's Norwegian, though, anyway. So it's, it's, it's real Scandinavian. The dining table's not too bad either. It's got a leaf hidden underneath. That looks like an old cash register. Huh, or a one-armed bandit. Either way, not my cup of tea. Here's part of an old bar. A little too tacky for me. This is the kind of place where you do not come 
with a specific goal in mind. These are probably 1960s, 1970s. These are an Italian designer named Gio Ponti. Uh, his chairs are really easy to sell, mid-century modern icons. And then you can see the seats. They're still in one piece. Sure, he's got about 100 more trailers to check. I'm out. The teak dining table and the sideboard are easy to sell. I think if I get Bam Bam to help me pull these out and we put them right in there, the price would be better. He'd be less inclined to move them again. Oh, man. Perfect. It is full of junk everywhere you look. Old pontoon plane with CO2 things for pontoons. These are coffin handles. They're not old. They're old stock. But I, I've sold these before, because I buy a, a lot of this weird stuff. Oh, some propellers. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a brass one up here. There's a lot of them, but are any going to be, are any going to be good enough to be art? Any going to be good enough to stand out beyond their own on a wall? It doesn't look like it. It's supposed to be one of his furniture sections. Holy, it's so packed, you can hardly walk through this. Oh, look at these. Old cub cards. This is an official Scouts Canada cub car. Huh. These are kind of neat. You used to get a, a straight block of wood when you were in, in cubs or scouts, and they'd have a jamboree where you'd all design your own cars out of the same kit with the same wheels and the same axle and the same block of wood, and then you would race them. And people would do things like add weight to it. This guy's got a little weight taped to the hood, hoping it's going to fall a little faster down the track. These are kind of neat and nostalgic. I might, I might throw them an offer on these. I don't need appliances. Oh, there's an old fridge cart. If it would lay flat, it would make a great coffee table foundation, but it's going to sit on an angle. There's not enough to it. It's probably worth more to him as an appliance cart than anything. Lots of 60s, 70s. A lot of really bad 60s, 70s. That is pretty cool. Marty might want it. It's broken. Sadly, a lot of stuff that comes to a scrapyard or, or, you know, a salvage yard has already seen better days. School desks. Come on, show me something older. Show me a name. Most of these are pretty standard reels, so if someone needs a reel to use, you can come in here and get one and get a great deal. But uh, not exactly for me today. It's a school bus seat. It's a few school bus seats. Oh, they're Haywood Wakefield. This is a huge name for collectors of mid-century modern uh, furniture yeah, and even the institutional stuff. Like, I've had so many theater seats. I bought in one location from this company from the 50s, and they were used everywhere. They were used in restaurants. They were used in houses. And I couldn't sell them fast enough. They've been all been repainted, so they'd have to be completely redone. Ugh. Yeah. It's a similar theme at the junkyard today. Everything's a little past its prime. Bam Bam. Talk to me, little buddy. Head up to the sided shed. This is where they got all the good stuff. Good stuff? All right, I'm on my way. To the average person coming through those gates, they're going to think, oh, OK, it's a junkyard. It's going to be, you know, car parts and piles and pieces of junk and scrap metal. And, and they'd be wrong. We got all kinds of stuff. There's stuff in the campers, there's stuff in the boats, there's stuff in the cars, stuff in the trunks. So you never know what you're going to find every day. Oh, there it is. What do you got there, bud? Finally found a treasure, buddy. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a reason to keep working hard, because I know at the end of the day I'm going to have a drink out of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's your score of the day? That is my score of the day yeah. so far. Whoa. It's tough to find Labatt 50 collectibles, and I've got a real emotional attachment to it. It's something I used to see my dad, my grandpa drinking. I remember 50. I've got a 50 keychain, and now I've got a 50 mug. It's going to cost you. 
50? That's the price, I think. 50 cents. That's a solid offer. Check this out. What you got, buddy? It's an old Art Deco uh, little light here. Would have been a piece of glass in the front here. There's a break in it. I don't know. That's still kind of cool. It can't be that much. There's some real fancy salt and pepper shakers over here. Mm. Oh, they're pretty heavy, too. They say Viking on them. They could be medieval. Marty, if you get into trouble over there, it's OK. <laughs> Why is that? I will rescue you. <laughs> oh, it's a lightning rod. But instead of the metal bulb on it, this one's got the glass. That's a nice one. It's kind of cool. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to bring this out there. Vintage 7 up thermometer. It's mashed, though. All good. Rusty, but let's see if we can save anything. Ooh. 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 Yeah. That's right. Hope. We found hope. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Damn 50 cent worms. Come on. Okay, so there's one or two lures in here, which I think would look gorgeous hanging up on the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this over here. It's always the last box you check. Hey, Bam Bam, I got a really cool uh, oil can here. It's got racing flags on it. Prestone? No, it's a uh, Rizlone. Never heard of it. If it said Harley on it, you might have a deal. If it said Harley on it, I'd be selling it to you at a marked up price. <laughs> It's a cool typewriter, but... Oh, oh license plate. There you go. Wait, some of these are wild. I'm looking for pairs. I'm looking for standouts. I'm looking for, you know, things that are a little, a little bit different than the rest. It's a little pa oh, paper cutter. That fits in with my stuff. Uh, uh. All right, remember, I found this place first, so there's a finder's fee for anything cool you grab. Oh, right behind you, man. You missed it. Look at this. This is what was catching my eye in the corner. Let's look at the stickers on it, too, which is nice. It's made by Marks. That's a solid toy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is more something like, you know, I could see on a shelf than in a giant collection. I like this cabinet here. It's government. It could be like a postal uh, box of sorts where they just, this would be like, where they lock it up, but. I just looked at the bottom, and it's rusted right out in the corner. But there's more. Bingo. It's an old Coca-Cola sign. Oh, that's perfect, buddy. It's not perfect by any means, but it's so cool. It was literally, like, shoved right up against the cabinet behind garbage bags. And the only way you could see it was from, like, underneath the chair with a flashlight. I hope he doesn't charge you more just because I dug it out. Hey, Marty. Oh, you got an old prosthetic? I do have an old prosthetic. Here, you want to check it out? Yeah, throw it over. Here it is. Oh, that's pretty hilarious. Oh, I like the old wood ones better, though. I'll keep my eyes out for legs and hands. All right. When I come to a place like this, it's, it's sadly, it's sensory overload. You could probably tell. I, I completely lose focus and just run around and pick up shiny things and rusty things, and I'm like, mm -hmm. do I recognize this? Is it awesome? Yeah. Marty, is it awesome? No, next thing. You know the rule. I'm left-handed. I go left. You go right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh. Hey, don't go too deep. Check this out. What'd you find, buddy? It's a rescue sled. You might have to rescue that rescue sled. It's been here for a while. It's got it's covered in burrs. The weeds are growing right through it. And it, yeah, and it's signed too. It's got the plaque right on it. Oh, Mine really? Safety Appliances of Canada, Toronto, Montreal. That's awesome. I've never seen anything like it before, but that was for pulling like injured people or dead people out of the mines. Yeah. Or, and dragging them down to the hospital, like through the woods and the snow. And I can't even imagine, you know, how many stories that thing's got. 1945 MK3 ammo case. Sold. <laughs> There's an old mop. Mop bucket ringer. Check this out, it's all cast iron. Huh? I've never seen one this old before, have you? No. That's amazing, that's gotta go side too. Oh wait, but there's a super test drum here, it's not a really old one. There's a big difference between salvage and junkyard and scrapyard. Like he's strictly salvage with the rest of it. This is a guy who does demolition and when he's doing it, 
he's bringing home all the good stuff. And he's putting it here, he's putting it in a spot, he's giving it at home, and it gives us an opportunity as diggers to come out here and, and just go crazy. Oh, man, I'm alive. What is this? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is pretty amazing. Jackpot. You ready for this? Yep. Oh. This is insane. It's a giant fire alarm sprinkler. It's all cast iron. I get $25, $30 just for those cheap ones from the 50s and 60s, the red ones that hang on the walls everywhere you see oh. in schools. You'll do good on this one. Hospitals. Then. That's really cool. It's loading okay. time. Woohoo! Easy there, Chief. Right here. Whoa! Stopping the bus. What the heck are you grabbing now, Marty? One sec. I'm in. All right, are we going to furniture next? Furniture department. All right, I'll whatever. I'll get you there soon. Heck, whoa, right there. Perfect. All right. Let's see what you found in the junkyard. We're gonna need blankets. You're gonna need blankets. All right, easy. You got it? I got it, I got it. There you go. You want grab those four chairs? Nope. All right, I'm putting this one aside. All right, muscles, Let's see what you got. Flip it this way. We can't fit the table, I'll walk it. Go for it. It's a matter of time before you buy something big and heavy and you're tired. You've got yours coming. I've never been scared to carry a table. I found a ton of license plates. It's a huge prize bag for me. Out of the, you know, upteen dozen tackle boxes I saw, yeah. I only found a few with some in them. Ammo case, that one's a little taller. It's like a double tall. And then my 50 goblet. Right. So I think I'm gonna put it all in one kind of package deal, and I'm probably gonna come in pretty firm around 150. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Okay. I think I'm just gonna start with the furniture and feel them out and see how it goes from there. The teak dining table and the sideboard are easy to sell. It's, it's real Scandinavian, mid-century modern icons. I found some interesting stuff. The cast iron mop squeegee. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of really interesting pieces. Fire alarm's kind of cool. You notice that it says automatic and not atomic. If it was atomic, I would have been all over <laughs> yeah. that. Let's see what happens. We've been out here all day, and uh, it all comes down to this, buddy. Yeah, I know. I don't have to put it all back, because I'm tired. Yeah, it's not like you've been carrying tables down the street all yeah. day. I've got a smaller corner of the property here. There's a couple of tackle boxes down there. Now, the big one's actually got some bass plugs in it. Sure. There's a lot of variety there. They're a little big for what I usually fish for, unfortunately, but... Maybe yeah. that'll change, right? I know, you might get lucky. Yeah. I got a good variety of license plates down here. The lightning rod, which I thought was neat, because it's actually yeah, that's got a glass bulb yeah. on That's an odd color. I don't get too many of those. Yeah, the ammo box, I reuse those as toolboxes. Yeah. The fireman's helmet, safety first, right? There sure. could be a fire. I've got a smoke detector. Why not have a fireman's helmet? Me as well. Just makes sense to me. And we also found the one and only Labad 50 mug. Right. It looks like it's got your handprint in it. Is this one you used to use? I drank that when I was a kid. Oh. 50. That's how he started. But that's pretty much it for my corner. And I figured, you know, if I took a bit of stuff, I'd get a bit of a deal. So I figured, you know, I'd give you 150 bucks for the whole kit and caboodle, come in at that and see how you felt. Yeah. I could probably get more if I sold one piece at a time, but you, you sure know could. What? Package deal always wins, right? Package deal wins? Sure. Fantastic. Thank you, Mike. All that's right. incredible. Now, uh, I'll right. give you the hook. Uh, I warmed them up for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can see we've got different tastes. Yep. A little bit, right? So I pulled in some furniture first. You're not really the furniture guy, are you? you well, just, this we... is kind of like stuff you grab with estates and things like that. Well, and... sometimes they leave it behind when we tear down cottages. Right. So anything that looks worth keeping, we'll put it in the trailer. But right. It does sell pretty quick. I'm looking at the buffet and looking at the table, and then these chairs are kind of nice too. And then I found a couple others. And then you can see I grabbed a bunch of metal stuff. I like that kind of weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got I got this the old uh, ringer here. It's from a little mop bucket. So, so I thought that was pretty wild. Still it's, works. Still in one piece. Yeah. 
grabbed a super test, uh, what is that, five gallons? It says right in the box, coffin handles. Mm. So, so they're not old. Coffin handles. Yeah. And, yeah, this old Coke sign. This one I really had to dig for. This was stashed away for a long time, I could tell. It's an okay shape. Sure. I got this nice little Marks piece of machinery here. It's got uh, nice wood wheels on it. It's still one piece, more or less. And uh, there's one more thing here. Oh, golf club. We'll yeah. talk about this in a minute if we need to, okay? I'm looking at the whole pile here. I'm probably said about four and a half. Yeah. About five. Nice even number. All right, this is where the golf club comes into play. <laughs> right. I found one ball. So, how about if I tee this up? If I clear that trailer, you give it to me for 450? Sure. And if I don't, you get the five. All right, sounds good. Sounds like fun. Okay, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> if you break a window, it's uh, extra. It's not cooperating. Hold on. This is a good sign for you if you can't get the ball to sit on the tee. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he plays as much golf as I do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys Sorry. jokers done? No, we're just getting warmed up. Yourself? <laughs> Quiet on the course. <laughs> right into the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Went straight in the pond. <laughs> Not even close to the trailer. So I win. <laughs> the right. $50 shot hurt round the junkyard. Uh, here, you get your 500. <laughs> All right. No problem. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Would have loved to have a couple practice shots first. <laughs> or I should have grabbed a, you know, a more modern uh, wood out of there. Or been a better golfer. We barely made it to the end of one aisle. We still skipped half of it. It would take so long to go through a place like this that by the time you did, you'd have to start again because there's stuff is just coming in. Yeah. He's actively doing demos. He's actively junking the yard with salvage. Yeah. I want to follow this guy around every day yeah. when he brings in a load and just, you know, buy out of the back of his truck. He's like the Willy Wonka of junk. Game on. OK. Man, that was a real salvage urge. I didn't expect that at all. You did really well. Like, you know that stuff really well. Yeah, I scored really well today. The old mining sled. That's oh, yeah. my favorite piece. I love it. It's rock solid. It's cast iron. And that's something I can see hanging in a loft. You can hang upside down in a kitchen with your pots and pans on it. Like, that's a real piece of work you want to display somewhere. It could end up in my personal collection. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And it's not something you would find in our neck of the woods. There's not a lot of mines where no. we're coming from, is it? No. to go today, a lady named Brenda. Used to be a bit of a collector. She goes to auctions. She loves a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And she started downsizing. She's not really a dealer. She's more of a mover and shaker. As a mover and shaker, she's decided to have a bit of a yard sale. Oh. <laughs> We've been trying a long time. We're going to have to hang tough for a while. I thought we'd be there by now. We're really off the beaten path. I'm wondering if this is even the right road. Look it. Got a little lake for fishing. Oh, uh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's a sign. Oh, this is a right. sail. Look at old ladders. Look, I see a lobster trap. Honk right. for assistance. All right. Let's see what she's got. Saying honk for assistance. I'm doing it. I was a little skeptical pulling up, uh, to be honest. The moment I saw like the old wash basins and things like that outside, you could tell that someone knew what they were doing and you know, expect to pay a decent price for them. Is this just stuff from inside? And you're like, I'm going to put it in the driveway and redo it. Why not? Why not? Eh? Sure. Where'd I... you get all this stuff? I am a collector from a long line of collectors. Ooh. And accumulating here and there. I like yard sales. I like auctions. I love antiques. A lot of it's from Prince Edward Island. My dad had a retirement home down there. OK. And over the years, it's just become a tad overwhelming. Well, okay. we can probably help you with that. Beautiful. Um, are you okay if we just turn loose in here and start not tearing a, the place up? Not a problem at all. Here go we go. nuts. Go nuts. Hope you brought lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> they took a great deal of time looking at my, my goodies in the garage. I don't know if they're into littles or furniture. Where's your base? Yeah, where's the rest got, of it? Unfortunately, the top dropped. Oh, no. It has the tin-lined drawer. 
the cutlery drawer. Good enamel base. They're nice. I obviously nice I, oak. I like both pieces. Sometimes you can use just one. It makes a nice yep. island or something. Oh, it does, yes. These are always nice. They're kind of trendy. People put them in kids' rooms. Um, sometimes you'll see them in, in the living room as a side table. Sometimes even thrown in a garden uh, with a pot on top and just, you know, decorated. Uh, there's a lot of them out there right now, so I'm, I'm a little picky about which ones I grab and which ones I don't. A lot of my guys are, are into really specific things. Stuff like this, a lot of people are into because it says Indian on them, but a lot of my people that I sell to and collect for Bamteeks look for specific names. Uh, Maestro is very mass produced. There's a lot of these out there. I'm seeing a G.I. Joe Adventure Team vehicle. Have you got any old G.I. Joes to go with it? Unfortunately, I do believe my son absconded with those. Oh, OK. But that's a really old. That was when the G.I. Joes were the foot high ones, not the little action figures. Yeah, this is the old ones from the yeah, 60s and early 60s, 70s. 60s, I was going to say. That's from probably the 60s. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I'll just keep looking around here. With things like tins, condition is everything. A lot of people just getting into it, they'll grab one because they like the fact that they can, you know, I finally got one, I've got one on a shelf. Once you get two or three of them, condition becomes a really big purchasing factor. So that'd be good for someone just getting into it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep looking for real treasure here. There's not a lot of things for me and the people I deal with here. There's nothing here that I can hang above a mantle, take to the retail store or to the end user. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing, buddy? All right, anything here for you? Uh, no. It looks like this is, uh, this has been pretty well picked over, buddy. How do you feel about seeing if she's got anything kind of on the reserve? Yeah, I, I, see if we can get into the house. Okay. And, uh, see if she's got anything in there. Let's okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Brenda? There she is. You sure did. Uh-oh. What'd they do? <laughs> How are you doing? We're doing good. Having We're doing fun good. Poking? We are. Holy, yeah. what a view. You get to wake up it. to this every single morning. I do. Isn't that awful, eh? We were in there. We're poking around. Okay. And uh, I'm wondering how much other stuff might be hidden away and possibly for sale. Oh, uh, you never know. I'm guessing there's some stuff in the house. Uh, yes. You guessed right. Yeah. Would you let us have a little tour around? Have you got anything for sale? Uh, Depends, but you're more than welcome to come and take a boo. Okay. And all I can say is yay or nay. Perfect. Well, I love being welcome. Let's uh, let's jump off the deck, but we'll revisit this. Super. Momentarily. Well, let's not jump off. It's fair ways <laughs> down. Although it's my private stash, I just like to share my enthusiasm and my passion for collecting. All right. After you. Hi. Thank you, sir. Yeah, and come on also in. After you. Oh wow. A couple of little gems. You've got a great eye for this. We see you've got a lot of vintage kitchenware. Oh, and... yes. Yeah. See what catches your eye. So you've got two Jemimas and, and one Jemima. Joe. No, I there's should have another two Joe. sets. There's a, oh, second. a second one? Yeah, oh, okay. there's two sets. They're so cool. Okay. Matter of fact, I remember camping. We used those. Really? Yeah. Out of curiosity, what would you sell one set for? It's negotiable. So you throw a number at me then if you want to sell one. You know, one thing. set, I would say for the set 35. That's a little on the retail side. Is it? Yeah, it is. So this is the same Hoosier you've got in uh, the shed out there. So it this is. one's got the top. Pretty well identical, yes, with the tin line drawer and the, the hardware. Yeah, the hardware is nice on it. These ones aren't for sale, I take it? I'm not quite ready to part with them just yet. OK. That's a nice clock. My dad, he had the three mantle clocks. He had them synchronized. Oh, really? Of course. Is it for sale? Um. I'll think about it. Okay. You I'll think you know. about it. I'll enjoy it from here until you then. You can enjoy it from there for now. Yep. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it is nice. beautiful. It's not just about buying. It's about meeting the people that are also buying. Not only did we meet some great people today that had a great collection and had an opportunity to, to buy a couple things, but now they know that we do this, we know that they do this, and maybe our paths will cross again because they know what we like and we know what they like. And You're not always catching fish, but you're always fishing. There yeah. was one other thing that I was wondering, though, uh, that I couldn't leave without. Um, what's dock rental for an hour for some fish. <laughs> now, well, now, now we're talking big money. Perfect. We're talking big money. Like I said, it's something I can't leave without. Yeah. Uh, not a problem at all. Perfect. We got our poles in the back. Right. Always. Perfect. <laughs> Always. He was so excited to get down there. I looked like I might yeah. be the first one to and catch you, a fish. You struck a pose, and yeah, and you cast it in, and everyone expected you to catch the fish. And then what happened? Fish on. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's a good one. Come on, get your glove. I'm getting him up on the deck. Got him? There you I'm go. About to. Hey, hey. 
There we go. He's a nice one. Easy fella. Not a bad looking guy, eh? Yeah, and fish isn't bad either. Ready? There we go. Sayonara. This is the start of an absolute fishing battle. Yeah. And I will not lose. I hope no one's coming. Well, buddy, you know what? You can't win them all, but anybody that's going by here would be happy and lucky to get a lot of that stuff and yeah. take it there and put it on their own little homestead. Oh, yeah, she's going to sell everything she has there at pretty much asking price. It's just in my normal buying environment, I get, you know, across those same things, uh, you know, for much less. Exactly, yeah. especially when we're finding so much of it. Like, we're definitely in the right area. We're finding great stuff all the time. So maybe we should just keep our standards up a little bit for now. I got a call from this woman named Susan. She sounds super cool. We're going to be meeting at her mother's place. Okay. And it's a big piece of property. And there's supposed to be a few outbuilding type places on the property as well that have items in them. All right. Now, apparently it's been in the family for quite a while, for a few generations now. So I don't really know what to expect. I know it's on the lake. I'm loving the roads we're driving down here too. Yeah, man, every time we go down one of these roads, even when we think we know what we're gonna find, we don't. And it's part of the fun. This is like an adventure. No one else gets to go exploring. No one else gets to go treasure hunting like this. This is epic. And the treasures that get tucked away back here. Look at this. Oh, man, look at... Oh, yeah, there's antlers on there. Look at the old light, the canoe. Yeah. Oh, and look at these places, man. Oh, man. How many are there? There's even one tucked back there. Man. I hope these are all hermits. Oh, they're like Easter eggs. I just want to grab them all. Holy cow. They've been here for a while, too. Look at this one. This one's amazing. I love that. Let's check it out. All right, here we are. It's pretty sweet pulling up there today. Yeah. Kind of opened up into a full-out compound, and I think that might be the first time I've ever been on a lake compound. As we were rolling up, I noticed that there's a ton of, like, little outbuildings, little cottage houses and stuff. This is quite a little lake property. Yes. Tell yes. me a bit about it. Is this all yours? It's been in my mom's family for... Or her parents bought it 54 years ago, yeah. and my aunt and uncle bought it 15 years before that. Oh, wow. So, so that's... it's been in the family a long time. Really? It's about 70 years, right? Yes, yes. Incredible. So I'm seeing some lights on, some signs of life. Are people actually living in these buildings? Yes, I do have some relatives living here on the property at this time. There are three cabins that are unoccupied. Okay. So Now, and... I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say those are the ones that are full of treasure. Mm -hmm. Where's all this stuff coming from? So we've got a collection of stuff that came from different family members as well as I do a bit of picking myself. So. Oh, do you? Yes. Well, what's your motivation for selling? Is it just the downsizing? Mom needs to downsize as well as do some repairs on some of the buildings. Okay. So that's what the goal is. We're hoping to get some money together for her. And we're hoping to spend some money. Excellent. I think we should go over to cottage number one right over here, and there's some odds and sods of furniture. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh, man. Here we go. Now, this was um, rented by a nurse from Hamilton. OK. From, I would say, early 60s, right until her death a couple of years ago. That's so full of character from the, you know, the pictures on the walls and I believe uh, the that penance. was done in the 40s. And I recognize Dopey, and I've heard of little Abner. You've heard of the Shmoo? I haven't heard of the Shmoo. Yeah, he was a cartoon character, and then Daisy May. Now, this looks like it's seen a lot of use over a long period of time. It was my great-grandmother's chair. Um, at some point, the legs needed to be replaced. It didn't get done. It was put in a shed, and we just recently pulled it back out of the shed. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah it'd be nice to see it one piece again, if you could uh, no find kidding. the rest of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, incredible. Is this a map of the compound? Yes, someone's child drew this. The Island of Trees? Mm hmm The Honey Man House. Honeymoon. Oh, honey, Honeymoon House. The little one over there, they call it the Honeymooner. And the joke is whoever stays in there gets pregnant. Yeah. Gonna be starting a family, Marty? <laughs> <laughs> not that I know of. <laughs> not that I know. <laughs> mm. Let's see if we can keep finding some treasure. Yeah. Let's keep go moving? check out number okay. three. All right. Oh, I'm liking the looks of this one already. Comfy little sitting room here. Oh, wow. Love the old stove. Every one of them had a cook stove in them at one point. Yeah. I love the old I wallpaper in here. Oh, yeah. Isn't that, that great? That's amazing <laughs> wallpaper. <laughs> All right, search continues. Do you want to lead to the next building? Sure. OK. Go on over to the rec room. So this is the honeymoon cottage up here. I feel a little magical. I better step away. Yeah. <laughs> okay. the yeah. Rec room, eh? All the right. rec room. You got a sofa and a transistor radio? Oh, for sure. Come on in. 
Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is a time warp. I'm moving in. Yes, a little bit of everything. There was a ton of real neat stuff as soon as we walked in, stuff that stood out, you know, not your everyday stuff. Like, there wasn't nearly as much stuff in the other ones. But she, she just wanted to point them out to us just in case there was something in there, you know, that was lying around that she missed or we couldn't live without. There's a step back in time. Yes, you can plug that in right there. There's a plug right there on the wall if you want to see it lit up. We do. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That's nice, eh? How much you want out of that one? If I said 25, what would you think of that? I'll give you a big thumbs up. OK. I liked the ashtray a lot. It's just super 60s kitsch. These door sticks are hilarious. What do you want out of these? No bundle, just a, a one-hit offer. 10 bucks. Done. OK. All Excellent. right. There was so much neat stuff that the first, you know, five, 10 minutes or so in there was just kind of a free-for-all. Grab this, grab that, grab this. Oh, man. Look at this. I love bullet holes almost as much as I love patina. What do you need for this beautiful sign? $30. Definitely a good deal. Great. I'm not going to pass that up. Let me keep digging. This is pretty wild. This little child's patio rocker. I bought that probably about 20 years ago. Oh, yeah? Yep. OK. I kind of I like it. It's got a, a bit of charm to it. How much is that guy? 20 Put that in with it? Sure. So I'm not sure what kind of saw this is. No, Did you dig this out of the dump or something? That I dug out of this property walking around raking. At first and glance. I came across it. Oh, I see. At first glance, it looks like a bone saw. At first like glance, if, when if I, I saw it, I thought I found a gun. And like, a, like, you know, for amputee. Oh, yes. Very yeah. well could be, yep. Yeah. My mom seems to remember my great grandfather using it for little projects, like little woodworking projects for detailed areas okay. he was using this. It could go either way, but the handle. What do you think, Bam Bam? The handle looks like I, close to... I think to... it's actually the, like an old hacksaw or something like that. Yeah, it could have been. I think it's an old mm -hmm. metal saw with an interchangeable blade. But I do like the uh, the handle on yeah, it. So gorgeous. whether whether it is for bone or whether it is for woodworking, it's yeah. still kind of cool. Yes. All right. Sure, throw it in together. Neat. Nice little local treasure. What, what would you want for that? I'm going to say 30 on it. I don't know a ton about bottles. It's kind of out of my usual realm. But because it's local and I'm a big fan of souvenirs, I go to 20. Would you do 20 on it? Sure. Done. Perfect. Sure, sure. I like the baker's table over here. Oh, yes. Is there a story behind it? Um, just that it came down through the family. My grandmother loved uh, baking, and she would come up here and do a lot of baking and cooking on the weekends. Have you got a number of mine on it? 300. Yeah. I think I'll pass at that price. Just knowing if I'm going to resell it, I'm going to have to, to strip it right down, I think. And it's a lot of work. What would you have thought was would be a fair price on it? In that condition, knowing I have to strip it right down, I'm a, I'm a little low. I'm, I'm only halfway there. I'd have to sell it the way it is or go through all the trouble of stripping it or repainting it, which would have been a lot of work. The two French stores there, I got them from friends who own a house in Bethany, Ontario, and it was the original brothel, saloon, and train station. That sounds like a wild ride. Yeah, it's a real yeah. menage a trois. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to quiz my furry friend here. Do you know what these are? Yeah. Curling iron. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah. yeah. My great-grandmother used to do all the women's hair using those. Oh, really? Yeah. Me. Yep. She used wow. to put them on the wood stove, heat them up, and curl their hair. Isn't that a cool little saw? Is it a saw? Or is it a bread knife? It, it's all for cutting something. I'm just loving the hardware on mm. it. That's kind of cool. Got no idea what surprise you can find in there. But it's got mm. tools in it. Wah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. OK, I see something. I like that piece. Oh, that's awesome. Did you know that was up there? No, not a clue. This is usually your thing. It is. That's absolutely my style of thing. I haven't seen one of those for probably about 15 years. And is that shoot little arrows? Yeah, or? yeah. little tiny arrows. Yeah. Like that it's small? Yep. And it's uh, probably still legal? No. <laughs> I don't know. I like it, though. What would you offer for that, Marty? For fun, $25. Sounds good. OK. Yeah, she had no idea the compound bow was there. I don't think anybody did. The crossbow, that's a mystery. I have no idea where that came from. And I'm wondering how many other treasures are hidden around here that we still don't know about. I will certainly be looking a little harder. Oh, this is cool. This is like an ultra-modern lighter. Still sparks, too. That's pr that's really ultra-modern. I like that. There's three lights, too. The sconces? The I yeah, actually was going to ask. Going. I'm going to take a closer look at them here. So with... Are they, are these one of the original pictures in the cottage here? Probably, yes. eh? They're not too bad. I really like them. Like, they're, they're true Art Deco, right? Exactly. I guess, what, what do you want out of the three? What would you offer for the three? Well, 
I'll give you 40 each. Deal. Okay. Our taco has been hot consistently for years, and it's one of the things that's never really dipped or fallen off, and I'm glad she was able to sell them to me. I can have my electrician son-in-law come and take these down for you. Oh, I can take them down. We just, oh, turn, off, we just turn, turn off the off switch and rip them off, Okay, right? sounds good. I actually saw something I set aside over here just because mm -hmm. I haven't seen them in about 30 years. Mm -hmm. Scratch and stiff stickers. So, you know, if you're hungry and you want to make that worse, you could smell popcorn, pizza, or cola. Exactly. What do you, you want for those? Five bucks? <laughs> yeah. Done. Good deal. All right. Good deal. I'm sure he'll have fun scratching and sniffing. I've scoured the place pretty good already, so mm -hmm. there's just a few more little things here. The lighter and the knife. The mystery knife. The mystery knife. And then there's just a little pair of shades here. They're kind of cool. Worth $20 for the three little things for me. Will you go 25 just because the little sunglasses, I'm sure that they are ancient. Throw in an extra five on them. Yeah. Okay, no, you sounds good. Hand. Okay. I bought that baseball bat at a yard sale from a man down in Port Perry who told me that his grandfather had played with it. And when I bought it from him, this man was about 75. So it, I'm it's definitely got age on it. It's one of those things because it's a smaller bat. You know what I mean? You don't really have a huge market for it. What did you want out of this? I paid five for it. I'll double your money and give you 10. Sounds good. I'll keep this guy at bay. Well, why don't you fly up there and rip a light off the wall? OK, I'm going to. I need, you need to hit the power, though. It's right there. That should power off all three, I hope. All right. I'm flipping the switch. It's like one little screw holding it in. Do you need, like, one little screwdriver? Come on. Observe the young Martius as he forages for <laughs> sconces in his natural habitat. Careful of predators, ever so wary, he stands precariously on a counter, poached and poised, ready to attack the sconce. Let's see what happens. So I'm foraging for a sconce? It looks like it. To some people, a screw is voodoo. Yeah, no. I... To some people, it's just screw -doo. This paneling is built to last. <laughs> it is holding this little tiny screw like you wouldn't believe, man. Have you tried unscrewing it? Do you need light? I can throw the power back on real quick. <laughs> no, <laughs> leave that off. Probably just can't see what you're doing. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm good. It's I'm right good. here. Yeah, I know. All right. Why don't you make yourself useful and start taking down the other ones? I was going to make myself useful and grab a drink, but <laughs> I, that fridge has seen less work than I have in the last couple years. <laughs> Come on, baby. Victory is about to be mine. We're off. And it's still one piece. Boom. It's amazing what you can do to a screw with a screwdriver. This one looks a little more straightforward. Here we go. <laughs> now that that's over. See, they're all in great shape too, eh? Wall sconces are so easy to sell. All right. OK, let's get these in the van. Susan, she was great with prices. There wasn't a lot of back and forth. She knew what she wanted and whether our offer was reasonable, and she was happy with it. And, and I thought it turned out really, really well. They got a really good personality. They're very easy to talk to. They're a lot of fun. Good enough. I scored some pretty sweet stir sticks today, man. Those were epic. Yeah, it just Hilarious. takes one of those, too, to be worth good money. And that's the thing. It's all for me. It's all about content, right? Like, those yeah. are interesting. People are going to love them. I own them. Bam tea. Yeah. What was your favorite thing you grabbed today, buddy? Those are deco wall sconces are pretty awesome. It was great being on an old, like, a, an actual compound. That much, you know, invitation to just relax and have fun. And that was the vibe I was getting from her. I've already it's... booked in for the long weekend. I'm going to be hanging out in the honeymoon cabin. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs>